In this video, we're going to be looking at finding the distance between these two lines. Now, the important thing to notice with these two lines is that they are parallel because uh, 2, 1, 1 and minus 6, minus 3, minus 3 are just uh, scalar multiples of one another. So, um, minus 6, minus 3, minus 3 is equal to minus 3 lots of 2, 1, 1. So L1 and L2 are parallel. OK, so what we have are two parallel lines. So finding the distance from one to the other, it doesn't matter where we are on the two lines, that distance will be the same. OK, so what we can do is we can think, OK, well, uh, if this is L1, and that's L2. What I need is a point on one of those lines. So I can find that out by just choosing the position vector, 3, 0, 1. So that is 3, 0, 1. Let's call that A. So A has coordinates 3, 0, 1. Right, so this corresponding point over here, let's call this P, will have some coordinates uh, for L2, which we can just say, well, OK, well, if it's just a point on L2, there is some value mu for which it will have the coordinates minus 1 plus mu lots of minus 6. So minus 1 take away 6 mu, 2 take away 3 mu, and 1 take away 3 mu. OK, so it'll have that, it'll have some coordinates there. There'll be some value of mu for which that is the case. And what I need is for this line to be at right angles, OK, because I want the shortest, I want the distance, shortest distance between those two lines. OK, so what I can do is I can work out the vector AP. Now, the reason why I might work out the vector AP is because I know that the vector AP has got to be perpendicular to L1, which means I can use the scalar product equaling 0, and hopefully that will solve the problem for me. So AP is OP minus OA. So minus 1 take away 6 mu, 2 take away 3 mu, 1 take away 3 mu, take away uh, OA, so 3, 0, 1. So minus 1 take away 6 mu, take away 3 is minus 4 take away 6 mu. Then we'll have 2 take away 3 mu, and then just minus 3 mu. So that's the vector AP. Now AP has got to be perpendicular to L1 and L2, for that matter. So 2, 1, 1. And so that dot product has got to be equal to 0. So that means that we've got two lots of minus 4 take away 6 mu, plus one lot of 2 take away 3 mu, plus one lot of minus 3 mu, must be equal to 0. So this gives me an equation to solve for mu. Minus 8, take away 12 mu, plus 2, take away 3 mu, take away 3 mu, equals 0. So minus 8 plus 2 is minus 6. We've got minus 12 mu, take away 3 mu, take away 3 mu, is going to get me minus uh, 18 mu, equals 0. So minus 6 divided by 18 is minus 1 third. So mu must be equal to minus a third. So that means with that, I can then substitute that into here to get the vector AP. So therefore, AP must be equal to... So minus 4 take away 6 lots of minus a third, so minus 2. We've got 2 take away 3 lots of minus a third, 
which is 3, and minus 3 lots of minus a third is just 1. So that is the vector AP. OK, so the length of AP will be the distance between the two lines. So that will be the square root of minus 2 squared plus 3 squared plus 1 squared. So 9, 10 plus 4, so root 14. And that is the distance between those two parallel lines.